Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today we want to talk about Custom Painter. First of all we will have a look on when you should consider using a Custom Painter, how the Custom Painter is working and last but not least we will have a look into different projects of Flutter Custom Painter. Alright and before I talk now too much let's get directly into the video. All right, so when should you consider to use a custom painter? What is it in general? So a custom painter is the possibility of Flutter to draw directly on the canvas of Flutter. Nearly all widgets is using the painting layer. If you remember the Flutter architecture, there is painting way underneath of widgets. That means you don't necessarily need a widget to paint something on the canvas. That allows you to directly create points and paths and uh, arcs and things like that directly on the canvas and draw on it. So when should you consider using a custom painter? Imagine you are in Italy, the weather is perfect and you see the you are at the harbor. You look at the other side of the village and you want to draw that now. Look at this guy who wants to draw it with his canvas. Replace the canvas now with a computer of your choice. Now install Flutter. Now you know when you need a custom painter. So imagine some widgets or some ideas, a logo or something that you would like to animate. A perfect option for a custom painter. All right, so now that we have that covered, you know now when to use the custom painter. Let's see how we can implement it. Ah. Hey, so uh, you like that content and you are still here? Fantastic! This is the perfect timing to hit the like button to show me how much you like that video. Think about a subscription, it really helps us and you because you get more information about Dart and Flutter. Thanks a lot and now back to the video. Alright, so how does the custom painter actually work? It is a class that you can extend with the custom painter class and you can use it as any other widget. But important is that the surrounding widget of it, the size and the height of it, will be passed down as the size of the canvas for the custom painter. We will see in a second what this means. The custom painter consists out of two methods, the paint method and the should repaint method. The paint method gets the canvas and the size of the parent widget inside of it. With that you can now draw. The canvas is the graphical representation. And with that you can directly execute commands like draw a circle, draw a line, draw a path, while the size gives you the height and the size of the widget that contains it. That does not mean you cannot draw outside of this widget, but it gives you an indication on how big your actual canvas should be. If you are starting with point zero zero, you are on the top left of the canvas and from there you can start to draw wherever you want. So. That's it for the method paint for now. We will come to that later because we will draw something. But now let's have a quick look into should repaint. Should repaint method is a method that is getting called whenever the class is reinitiated. That being said, whenever you scroll in your widget or in your widget tree and you dispose that uh, class and you're coming back to it, it will check, do I have to repaint this widget? So it gives you some control to say, Okay, yes, redraw it all the time because it's maybe random what happens on it or maybe no, just render it when I'm telling you or even say never render again. So if it is once drawn, it just reuses this drawing. That makes it a lot different because you can enhance the performance with that a lot. All right, but come back once more to the paint method. Inside of here, we want now to paint on the canvas. So we use canvas.drawPath, for example. For that, we have two classes. The first one is a path that we have to initialize. And in the path, we give the information about the way on how we want to draw our line. So from point A to B, then we want to draw an arc. After that, we want to go from point C to point D. This is the path information where we want to draw the line. Then we have on the other side, the paint class. The paint class gives information about color, styling and size, for example, uh, of your stroke that you want to do. So if we say canvas dot draw path, then we have to pass in First the path and second the paint to draw this line. And as you can see, immediately in the app appears correctly with these lines. Good. Then there is the possibility to paint text actually. So makes sense, right? There is a text painter class which you can use to also paint directly text on it. So if you don't want to write every line, you want to make every line for your text, you can use the text painter 
which does the same thing for you already and has some predefined classes. So I mentioned already the arcs. What is an arc? An arc is just a circle that you want to draw. So an arc is a half circle that you can draw. And if you have two points like point A and point B, an arc would be a half circle from there to there. And you can pass in, for example, information like radius and, and deepness and things like that to draw this arc uh, very easily. And with that, you have drawn your arc and you can draw from there wherever you want. Another thing that you can do is the uh, Bezier curve. If you have never heard about it, I found it actually uh, very interesting because I usually use it in Photoshop. Whenever you use the pen tool, you can go from one point to another point. And if you keep clicking that uh, pen tool and uh, drag it away, then you can see that the curve appears. And this is the Bezier curve. So it appears a new point, point uh, a third point for your A and B, and you get a third point, which in gives the information about how you want to make the curve happening. And you can move that along. Good. But now let's talk about larger projects that actually use Custom Painter a lot. All right, so bigger projects that we have done with Custom Painter or everyone has done in the community with Custom Painter. First of all, I can show you my little one that I created here. This is now seen in the web browser, probably see it on the side also. Um, this is my little uh, wheel of fortune uh, that I created. Everything of that is, um, is with Custom Painter drawn and everything is done with that. The reason why is not so much that I have to because everything could be also done with a stack, with rounded widgets and everything, but more to experiment a little bit and understand how the Custom Painter actually works so that I'm absolutely sure that I know what I'm talking today about. Now, well, Robert Falkner, you know him, he's pretty famous for his generative art and uh, he also made some videos for Flutter um, where he explains what he's doing and uh, shows his art. He has also some open source projects, which are very interesting because he completely don't care about widgets. He directly uses the custom painter, which is super fascinating in my opinion. Some people are painting, some people are cooking. I just do Flutter. I'm fluttering. So really check out his uh, repositories. You find the link down in the video description below. And last but not least, there was a challenge some years ago, which was the Flutter Clock Challenge. And the Flutter Clock Challenge had some amazing designs, like with pulse animations inside of it, or uh, even a bird that flies inside and shows itself inside of the clock. And I, as far as I've understood, this clock has been implemented in the Google Echo devices, which is really great, uh, to be honest. I really enjoyed that. All right, and these are the bigger projects. You will find all links down in the video description below because everything is open source. You can check it out, understand how the code works, maybe recreate something with it if you have better ideas what to do with it. And I really hope you are now able to use the custom painter and you have understood how everything works and that's a very good tool. And last but not least, there is also a fantastic tool from um, one of my colleagues here on YouTube, Retro Portal, who created the famous Shape Maker. So if you are interested in making custom shapes with custom painter, but you are not absolutely into the math or you don't want to do it without any visual guidance, he created a tool that you can use to create like a pen, draw your custom shapes, and after that, download or uh, copy the code out of it. And you have your Flutter code to directly have this path and shaped widget. And that is really cool in my opinion. Also down in the video de description, you'll find the link there. All right, so um, you learned today how the custom painter works, when to use it. Um, be a bit careful with performance. Uh, we know all that if you re-render a lot of things, if you don't do the should repaint correctly or you use a lot of course, that could be a problem for your performance. Don't do that. But in general, it makes a lot of fun to understand and get a bit more in deep into it. And I highly recommend you to do it. All right. And I don't know if you hear it, but I am a father since I don't know now one month and <laughs> it's still a challenge. So, you know, uh, the videos will still coming and I really hope now to also keep up the pace, maybe get back to one video a week. I would really appreciate that. And thank you so much for all this support. Uh, we are going on the road of 25,000 subscribers, which is way more than I have ever expected. So thanks always for watching. Thank you for all your support. And uh, down in the video description below, you will also find a link to my Patreon account. And it would be great if you would support that. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your week.
Till the next time, everyone.